So guys, I've been asked to explain about the transmog system in this game because there's a few people confused about this. So today I bring you a guide on everything you need to know about transmog within Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so the transmog system in this game is quite simple. So as you play the game, you'll unlock gear, you'll get gear drops from enemies. And that gear, as soon as you have it dropped, guys, becomes a part of the transmog system. It unlocks for you in the game. So, look, for instance, you can see here with my uh, player's gear tab. Hover above any single uh, slot ball piece you have here and just press X on Xbox and square on that PlayStation. Now, all these are loot drops. So, whenever I've had anything drop, a set of gloves you unlock them instantly, you unlock that appearance instantly so you can use it on any piece of gear from that moment forward and the same with the collections as well and uh, this is the same for absolutely everything again if I have a nice uh, Facebook appearance thing drop you unlock it from there on after and apply it to any gear piece I've got, it doesn't matter what it is and there we go, pretty cool a lot of these to be honest, a lot of these I haven't even I've not, I've not got them obviously, I haven't really looked at them properly but yeah, the transmog system in this game is relatively straightforward. Now, there's also the challenges as well, guys. We can earn quite a few juicy bits from these. Things like these. There's another one here that I'm working towards now. Things like this. Again, this is a part of that transmog system. So as soon as you unlock this, guys, it becomes unlocked. In that transmog system. This isn't a gear piece. You won't have a like a gear piece drop. You just unlock it within that transmog. So you just go to the appearance of that said uh, item which I think would probably be this one here. It will unlock here in the collections. Simple as that, guys. Now, if you do want to do the challenges, the combat challenges specifically, and you want to unlock some of these amazing looking things, but well, the best way to do these, guys, are the dark, well, the battle arenas. The, um, I know the Dark Arts battle arena is exclusive to people who had the deluxe edition or if they purchased a Dark Arts pack, but there are a couple of others on the map as well, which you can go to. And I'll showcase them to you guys right now. For those that actually don't know, there's one up here, top uh, there, right there. That overlook. No, that's that's not that's not the one, but it is somewhere down here. Probably help if I zoomed in. There we go. The battle arena right here. Uh, there's that one, and there's also one down here, I believe. Maybe not there. Is it? Is that it? No, that's not it. Is that it? There we go. That's the one there. So yeah, these guys, if you go to these. And complete waves of enemies you will earn tons of xp but the best part is these count towards your challenges the enemies within these the waves of enemies count towards your challenges and what's even better guys is you can change your settings put the game on easy and there's no challenge there whatsoever or put the game even on story which is just just i mean the enemies just stand there for you but yeah you put it on story mode uh well put it on story difficulty and there's no challenge in there whatsoever and you can just storm through the waves you earn the same amount of xp as you would on any difficulty and you still unlock the challenges i mean i've played the battle arena a bit i don't really want to use it to level up my character i just want to play the game properly but hey people do what they gotta do but i mean most of these are done in like a couple of waves so i know there's a couple of enemies that won't be in there i don't think there's trolls in there i don't think there are the frogs in there either but uh, the dark wizards are there goblins are there these fucked up looking things are here i mean the spiders are in there so yes guys uh, the dueling feats as well you'll do this in there too so yes if you want easy way easy way of getting cosmetics especially for those those gear uh, tabs and shiz uh, this is what you gotta do guys so yes a quick rundown on how transmog works in the game again as soon as you unlock or get a gear piece drop it will unlock within the um appearance so just press x or square and said appearance and it's there and you can select whatever you want and there you go looking bad as well as the one i had on there we go looking cool man looking cool and there we have it guys a quick rundown on how transmog works in this game it's relatively straightforward there's nothing hard about it and there we have it guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more hogwarts be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one